This video will illustrate orchestrated assurance principles focusing on service troubleshooting and healing. For more on the basic principles of orchestrated assurance, see our other videos on the NetRounds YouTube channel or website. You can also go to orchestratedassurance.net to find out more. The demo starts with NSO running an automated activation test. After it is successfully passed, active monitoring is started. The healing use case starts when NetRounds detects an SLA violation. This triggers Cisco Network Services Orchestrator, or NSO for short, to check the configuration of the devices and compare to the service intent. Discrepancies are found and NSO restores the service. The service is then tested again before it is considered fully restored. In the second scenario, there is an underlying network issue. In the first attempt, NetRounds and NSO conclude that it is not a configuration issue like the previous scenario. So, NSO automatically triggers a troubleshooting sequence in NetRounds, where NetRounds immediately starts to sectionalize the problem to isolate the location in the network and provides a detailed report to the stakeholders who can then fix the problem. To demonstrate this scenario, let's start with setting up a new service. We add a new branch to an enterprise VPN. When we add the new branch, we choose a level of service. This will match corresponding testing and monitoring templates in NetRounds for that service level. First, we provision the new branch office. In the bottom right-hand corner of the NSO user interface, we see the testing and monitoring status. We can see that the headquarters location has been tested and the overall SLA level. Now we test the new branch and start active monitoring. Moving over to the NetRounds GUI, we can see a catalog of the previous tests that have been executed. At the top of the screen, we see the live ongoing active monitoring for the HQ and branch sites. The list is prioritized by severity, with the worst SLAs on top. Now, the first failure scenario. Imagine that an engineer changed the configuration on the CE2 at the branch office, and this immediately negatively affects the delivered service quality. NetRuns detects the SLA violation and triggers NSO to automatically begin a couple of different activities. NSO will now stop the monitor, check if the devices are in sync, restore the service configuration to its original intent by redeploying the configuration, and test that the restored service works and finally restart the active monitoring once that has passed. Here we see a trace of NSO running automated healing. We can see that the active monitoring is stopped during troubleshooting. Then NSO checks that the devices in the service are in sync with the service intent. CE2 has been detected as out of sync. NSO reconfigures the device to restore the service. Now let's see how the automated healing continues. After the service restoration, NSO triggers NetRounds to test the service. Returning to the NetRounds GUI, we can see the test running. Diving into the test, we see the three steps that make up the activation test that has been designed for this service. Reachability, throughput, and path MTU. The test passes successfully and service is happily restored. Now over to an automated troubleshooting scenario. NetRounds detects an SLA violation. In this case, the problem is an underlying network issue. It could be due to an off-net connection or it could be a utilization problem. First, an automated healing attempt is made. Maybe it's a configuration issue. Looks like that is not the problem, so the automation loop moves over to a troubleshooting phase. NSO triggers an advanced troubleshooting test template in NetRounds. This troubleshooting test will utilize reflection technology to sectionalize the problem and pinpoint in which network layer and measured KPI we have a problem. That generates a detailed report which is distributed to the stakeholders, such as a network engineer. The engineer can then fix the problem. When he closes the ticket, a NetRounds activation test is again run to verify the service is restored. Let's start the troubleshooting we can clearly see that we have some loss in a section towards the branch. Due to this loss, NetRounds detects an SLA violation. NSO starts the troubleshooting sequence. First, NSO stops the NetRounds monitoring. Then, it investigates if it is a configuration issue, but it is not. It then runs a black box activation test to gather further information for the network engineer. Then, a white box troubleshooting test is run to find where in the network, in which network layer, and which critical KPI is experiencing the issue. Here we see the NSO troubleshooting sequence. NSO starts with stopping the monitoring during troubleshooting. Then it tries to restore the service by investigating if there is a configuration issue. It was not due to configuration, so the next step is to run an activation test. We do this in order to compile as much data as possible for troubleshooting. 
Here we see the test running in NetRounds. We can clearly see that the customer is not getting the promised throughput. NSO now continues by triggering troubleshooting sequences in NetRounds. We start by testing the throughput and see that it is not delivering. We can then continue on to the two fundamental troubleshooting questions. Where in the network is the issue occurring? And what exactly is the issue? TWAMP reflection is used to sectionalize the problem. We see that the problem is between the HQ and the CE2 devices and is in the best effort class. We see that we have severe loss in that section. Again, all of this information is put into a troubleshooting report distributed to the network engineer. So at this point, the engineer can create a ticket describing where in the network the problem is and exactly what kind of problem it is. In summary, we have shown three important parts of orchestrated assurance. One, testing should be done as part of the service delivery to ensure that it is working as expected. Two, it is also important to start active monitoring of the service as part of the delivery to ensure the service continues to meet your customer expectations. And three, active monitoring enables automated healing and can also automate complex troubleshooting scenarios so that network issues can be proactively found and fixed. The successful implementation of orchestrated assurance and closed-loop automated healing and troubleshooting also brings about a variety of concrete business benefits and operational savings. This solution decreases the number of undiscovered network issues and service downtime. It reduces both the number of trouble tickets and ticket handling times, and you'll also see the need for and number of field dispatches greatly reduced. With orchestrated assurance, you will also see an improvement in customer satisfaction through the improved service quality that you are delivering. You will also achieve improved service and network insights, as well as mean time to repair for any network issues. To learn more, please visit orchestratedassurance.net or contact us via the NetRounds website.